First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekah Kadash, and double honors to those great millstone, while it's his truth, and also to those elect that are scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit of power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of the lesson is Major Event. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start the daily lesson, I have a quick news article here by Daily Mail News. And it reads, it says, FBI director warns China computer attacks are now at a scale greater than we seen before as vulnerable critical infrastructure remains at high risk to be targeted. So we know that this uh, FBI director, which in fact is Christopher uh, Ray, constantly warning of these uh, these uh, attacks that uh, they are saying uh, that is going to go on throughout America. These uh, infrastructure, our our power grid, you know, it's that widespread uh, power outage. So it's becoming becoming a concern. They've been talking about the, this for what months. You know, so we see that, you know, they, it's constantly what increasing, increasing threats, increasing alerts. So one thing about it, that we see that these things gonna get ready to uh, come upon us uh, at a fast pace. So, you know, this dealing with your power grid, you know, dealing with your uh, water uh, treatment uh, plants, dealing with what uh, essential uh, services like hospital, uh, transportation, communication, uh, uh, your networks, uh, which in fact, what the Internet, you know, a lot of these things are getting ready to come into play. Water, food, your shelter. And also, it's going to deal with your uh, financial uh, uh, status. Also, this when it's uh, this, what the stock market. You know, all these things are coming into play. Is what this great economic collapse. So we seeing these things gonna call all sorts of what chaos through, throughout the world. It's gonna be a major event, also a global event. So we seeing that these things are very important. You know, it's gonna get serious, very serious, very what perilous, very very uh, uh, dark, evil time is coming upon us. So we seeing that uh, also. Uh, there's already rumors that the dollar is on the uh, decline. Also, what bank runs because it's going to start. A lot of people are going to try to run and go get their money out of the bank when your money is getting ready to be obsolete. It's getting ready to be what worthless. You know what I'm saying? So the fiat currency or the petrol dollar is getting ready to be a thing of the past because they get ready to try to reset everything. And also, it will cause a lot of what Lo looting and also rioting. You know, civil unrest. We already got uh, man civil all over the place we're seeing it left and right our infrastructure is getting ready to be attacked is it by design or is it manufactured but one thing about it, it's all through the spirit and the power of yahweh by Hashem, our child so we're seeing that these things are fast approaching total chaos you know what i'm saying also hyperinflation right now people are still thinking that they're a good case and this man right here this fbi director which in fact is christopher ray constantly warning of these uh uh things are constantly increasing these threats are you know are getting getting ready to be real so it's getting ready to be very real so you know so we also we know that um a lot of these store clothes a lot of things it's constantly we seeing that things are, are constantly picking up we seeing that uh it's gradually coming into what full circle so we know that we're very close that's why we got to what seek the law you know what i'm saying don't put off from day to day so we seeing these things are going to constantly line up like clockwork you know so when you don't have any internet no water no uh no power grid you know uh no shelter you know we already know that poverty will set in on a mass a level home homelessness you know also uh we know that it's going to be a lot of great death and mourning pestilence you know uh famine you know a lot of great sickness so we constantly warn you left and right so we at the verge of this uh getting ready to take place you know even though that will sound like a broken record but we really don't give a damn one thing about it is that we're gonna present the evidence it's up to you what through the spirit of power yahweh to wake your ass up if it's a hey, are all you getting ready to what to fill the fire the two-third and also the Lord said, first my judgment will start at the house of Israel. So let's get a quick, uh, let's get a quick, uh, and also, you know, the Lord's breaking the staff of the bread. You what? Your necessity, your way of life, you know what I'm saying? It's getting ready to change your livelihood. You know, there will be no employment. You know, it's just going to be a lawless time. We constantly want this is what they want. Order out of chaos. We seeing it happening right before us. So the forecast is very dark and dim and it's constantly what increasing. So now let's go here and get a quick precept in the book of, uh, 
before we start today's video, let's go here to uh, Ecclesiasticus R. Sirach, chapter 5 and verse 7 said, Make no terror to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Verse 8. He said, set not thy heart or your mind upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. So one thing about it is you know, a lot of things ain't going to, it's going to be worthless to you. It's, it will be a stumbling block. Like right now, a lot of people have plenty right now. They are financial stable, have a great, uh, have great uh, uh, a reputation right now. They have uh, uh, a lot of things are going for them right now. Everything is smooth sailing, but all of a sudden, all hell will break loose. And what are you going to do? And one thing about faith with out works is dead. A lot of people don't have faith. A lot of people don't have works. And one thing about it, we already know that a lot of people are going to be in great desperation, great sorrow, great mourning, and also great death and fast approaching. And also the Lord is getting ready to what? Execute judgment throughout the world that you have never seen before. The Lord is getting ready to show up and show out. And we're constantly warning you left and right. So put not off from day to day. You know, a lot of people are constantly delaying, still are not considering, still are playing games and all the games are about to be over so now let's start today's video and after the day today's video we'll start the lesson and i hope that you will get edified some pretty incredible breaking news coming out in the last 24 hours happening now across the united states could be a nationwide shutdown and this is going to be unfolding due to cyber attacks against infrastructure systems in the u.s coming from china now we've been receiving these warnings from the fbi for several months that chinese hackers had infiltrated infrastructure systems in the u.s we had heard that there was about 24 of them then we received new updates that there are actually more and they're saying significantly more and also they're saying that they actually compromised these over the course of the last five years, some even longer, and they did not know. And now we're finding out, and they're saying it is at unprecedented scales, the likes of which we did not realize. Now, take a look at the headlines, and all of these coming out in the last 24 hours as the FBI warns yesterday, Sunday, February the 18th, of what's going to be coming. Take a look at this. FBI Director Ray says, China, cyber attacks on U.S. infrastructures now at unprecedented scale. They're saying there is more than they realized, and this is essentially plans to shut down the entire nation and wreak havoc. Christopher Ray warns that the preposition malware could be triggered to disrupt critical systems in the United States. FBI director warns China's computer attacks are now at a scale greater than we'd seen before as vulnerable critical infrastructure remains at high risk to be targeted. FBI warns Chinese malware could threaten critical U.S. infrastructure. Agency director Christopher Ray says Beijing hacking operations have reached a fever pitch and FBI says China's cyber attacks on U.S. infrastructure are reaching new levels. And again, all of these coming out in the last 24 hours. Now I'm going to be sharing with you the latest details and I know this is not what we want to hear but I believe that knowledge is power. Let's just say the power grid goes out, okay? I'm telling you it's going to happen. I know. I just don't know when it's going to happen. Meaning, is it going to be in 2024 during election year? Is it going to be next 5 years, 10 years, 15 years? I believe it's going to happen. You best just do whatever you can to be ready. Following a cyber attack on the United States electrical grid, the nation plunges into chaos as major cities experience widespread power outages. Essential services such as hospitals, transportation, and communication networks grind to a halt, leaving civilians stranded and vulnerable. With uncertainty gripping the populace, panic ensues, leading to looting, riots, and social unrest. The economic repercussions are swift and severe. Stock markets plummet and consumer spending grinds to a halt, with citizens attempting to retrieve their money from banks. As civilian life spirals into turmoil, the government faces mounting pressure to respond decisively. Cyber defense units work to identify and neutralize the threat, while the military is deployed to secure critical infrastructure and maintain order. Diplomatic efforts are undertaken to determine the origin of the attack, but tensions with foreign adversaries remain high. Amidst the chaos, the nation grapples with the daunting task of rebuilding its infrastructure, restoring confidence in its cybersecurity defenses, and revitalizing its economy. This scenario underscores the critical importance of safeguarding against future threats. What do you think will take place if this ever happens? Write it in the comments. 
Warning over Chinese cyber attacks. Intelligence officials say hackers spent up to five years in U.S. networks in an effort to attack critical infrastructure. Pierre Thomas has the details. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning. We're getting disturbing new details about China's efforts to secretly infiltrate and potentially attack our key infrastructure and literally our way of life. George, we've now learned that some of the covert operations by China began at least five years ago. Homeland Security, FBI and intelligence officials issued a new bulletin yesterday highlighting the Chinese hacking campaign we recently told our viewers about. The warning says China has shifted from a strategy of using hacking to commit economic espionage to a strategy of using hacking to disrupt how Americans go about their daily lives. The Chinese cyber warfare involves planting malware in computer networks, serving our electrical grid, oil and gas pipelines, our transportation systems, even our water treatment plants. Authorities say the plan would allow China to attack at a time of their choosing. FBI Director Ray is sounding the alarm, calling the concern about China the threat of our generation, George. That is alarming. Okay. Man, I'm just reflecting on everything that has happened thus far in 2024. And it's seeming like there is not a moment of just let up. Things are continuing to transpire in our country. And these are major events. Every single day, every single week, I am reporting on something that is pretty, pretty scary. And today, I get wind of major cyber attacks on American infrastructures. If it's already not enough that Americans are worried about putting food on a table, their jobs are not paying enough. They are going through mental anguish because of what this country has done to the middle class because there is no more middle class it's either you're rich or you are poor and now we have to worry about whatever little funds you do have it have being erased from the bank and this is for educational purposes only because when you say that China is in American infrastructures. That could be the banking system. That could be the electrical grid. That could be the water infrastructure. Or that could be shutting down our internet as we know it. This entire world runs off the internet. So imagine something cutting off that communication in our country. It would be total chaos. So we see that we're very close, you know, to order out of chaos. So all hell is going to break loose. So you're seeing that there's increasing threat of China uh, getting ready to uh, attack the infrastructure. But is this all by design, uh, a manufacturer, or this is all through the spirit of power, Yahweh, by Hashim al -Bashai. So the Lord's going to break the staff of the bread. So we already know that, you know, this is going to, it's, it's going to cause all sorts of of confusion and disorder and also great death so we started the lesson once again and on that last video it said that we all need to come together we're not coming together only one that will come together is the elect the lord is gathering us through the word and everyone else is going to be in in a, a state of uh great vaccination of spirit very soon you know they, they they're in for a rude awakening you know, while you are relaxing in your lease, the Lord is getting ready to bring it forth. You know, it's going to come all of a sudden. So right now, a lot of people are comfortable right now, eating good, they're drinking good, still have jobs, still have resources. But all these things are getting ready to come to an end. They're getting ready to dry up right before your eyes. You know, a lot of people uh, have not experienced anything. They have not had any type of levels of adversity, but they are coming very soon. All hell is getting ready to break loose. Tribulation, persecution. Great death and destruction. So I started the day. Let's sorry about the rambling. Uh second edge chapter. Let's start straight to the point. Let's second edge chapter uh 16. We'll start up at verse uh 18. Second edge chapter 16 and verse 18. 
And it reads, said, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? So that's what we're coming to, you know, these major events, you know, economic collapse, you know, it's an infrastructure, you know, our uh, supply chain line, all these things are getting ready to dry up your food, your water, your resources, you know, your way of life is getting ready to change. So it's going to bring forth a lot of things, you know, famine, you know, it's going to bring forth what great death, the beginning of War, what the beginning of what world war three rumors of wars are all over the place evils are growing left and right but a lot of people what still a what la 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 still in the uh la la land but they're getting ready to get a uh a, a, a wake up call very soon so we're seeing that we're at the beginning of so the birth pain you know they're constantly increasing you know they get ready to what to escalate we're seeing it happening right before our eyes Verse 19 said, Behold, famine, plagues, tribulation, and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So we're seeing that these scourges are constantly what increase. They're picking up, you know, contracting. We're seeing, you know, they're sent for amendment. You know, it's time to mend your way. It's time to seek your true power while he can be found. Verse 20 said, But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourge. So, you know, a lot of people right now, they are locked in. They are what? They are grounded and seated in their lot. You know, so that's why the Lord said, Let the just stay just. Uh, stay just and let the unjust stay unjust so everyone is standing in their lot they are not mindful of the scourge what's going on around that's why the lord said be circumspect you know what i'm saying you have a 360 uh degree all the way around you knowing what time that we're living in what you know hey what's going on in the world but a lot of people right now you know they are getting rocked back to sleep from the left hand side verse 21 it says behold victims shall be good and cheap Upon the earth, they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evil grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So right now, you know, people right now eating good, they still have a job. You know, they are, they, you know, they still uh, uh, help their family unit still together. You know, they are going out with their daily lives, shopping, going on. You know, still things are still are not really uh, very high right now. You still can afford certain things, but hey, things are getting ready to be uh, out of control very soon. You know. No, 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 no more going to the bank. No more going to your favorite restaurant. You know, just to name a few. You know, also, you know, these family gatherings. All this is going to be cut out if you do not take it under the skin. Evils are growing all around. Let go of the mother thoughts. You know, hey, hey, gird up your loin. But a lot of people right now are weak, afraid, of feminine. You know, and the Lord is not dealing with that. The Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, which in fact is the elect. You know what I'm saying? We are built for that. And one thing about it, the Lord will deli deliver us out of these times of trouble so now let's start back up at verse 22 it said second every chapter 16 and verse 22 it said for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish a famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy because what this major event are uh, these global event jacob's trouble you know a time of trouble that we've never seen before food shortage, rolling blackout no internet no lights uh no place to stay no clothing no medication all these things are getting ready to come into play. We are sounding like a broken record, but these are the time that we're living in. We're living in the end time, real time. So now, let's go here to uh, Zephaniah chapter uh, 4. No, Zephaniah chapter 1, Salakia. Zephaniah chapter 1. Zephaniah chapter 1. And we'll start up at verse 10. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 10. And it reads, And it shall come to pass that uh, in that day, says the Lord, that there shall be be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hill. So we see it as happening right before our this great economic collapse is getting ready to be a uh, collapse that we'll never uh, never be able to uh, uh, come back from. You know, this is it. This is the final and the last piece right before the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh. This is going to be worse than the uh, Great Depression of uh, 19... Uh, uh, 29 through 32 and also they had another one in 08 it's just scratched the surface this one right here is going to be on a mass level you know what I'm saying this is going to take a lot of people out Billions of people are getting ready to be unalive. We're seeing it. it's happening right before our eyes in that fish gate going to our ancient stock market so let's go here let's start back up at verse 
11 said, how ye inhabitants of Mactos? For all the merchants people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. So Mactos going into that, uh, once again, Wall Street. You know, they were buying and selling back then, stock market, their economic uh, st uh, stability back then. And it's going to be cut off just like right now it's getting ready to be cut off and it'll never get back up again. America is getting ready to fall and it'll never, ever come back. This is getting ready to be the Lord burnt offering you know there would be no inhabitant left here so one thing about it we constantly want you left and right but a lot of people are still are not mindful of these what are scourging of these evils constantly growing all around in the middle of the Lord, we constantly signing and crying left and right but you still think that this is a game but all the games are about to be over verse 12 it says uh and at and it shall come to pass at that time that i will search jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are selling in their leaves, that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. So, you know, these, these wicked ass two that also the heathen nation, you know, they're relaxing in their leaves, you know, they're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? They're uh, uh, thinking that they're, they're good case. You know, they're, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is setting them up for, for the okay though. You know what I'm saying? They are living fat off the hog right now. But hey, man, it's getting ready to come to a short end. The Lord's getting ready to what? To cut it off. Hey, very soon. Your necessity, your well life, you know what I'm saying? Your support is getting ready to go out the window. If the Lord is not dealing with you, you're getting ready to die. Verse 13, it said, it said, therefore, their, their goods shall become a booty and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Verse 14, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasten greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry their belly. So a lot of people gonna be a lot of crying and weeping. The dear Lord is very close to the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is very, very close. And also the voice of the Lord will constantly warn you of these appending dangers. They're very close. They're at the door. Verse 15, it said, The day of the Lord is the day that that verse 15 is a lot. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. So Lord's gonna return in the midst of what? World War Three, that last and final war. You know what I'm saying? We seeing that, you know, that he's gathering the nation in the valley of Jehoshaphat in between the uh uh Persian Gulf and also the Red Sea. You know that what that that that's that that, that, that desolate uh barren land which in fact is saudi arabia you know so the lord's gonna gonna plead with his people there so we already know the lord's getting ready to bring for a judgment ezekiel chapter 38 war is lining up so the lord's gonna come in the midst all this nuclear exchange all this nuclear radioactivity all this dust is the ash thrown into the atmosphere you know gonna black the block out the sun and the moon it's going to you know a day of darkness day of gloomy so the lord's gonna come in the midst of it in the heat of the battle the lord is getting ready to shut everything down and put everything back into order we cannot wait verse 16 it said a day of trumpets and alarm against the fence city and against the high towers Verse 17, it said, I will bring distress upon men and they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. So, hey, amen, the body count will be great. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Hey, amen, the Lord is not coming to bring peace. You know, you, this white man, Jesus, that is not our Lord and Savior. Our Lord and Savior is Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, a Negro man from the tribe of Judah. He's getting ready to return. We constantly want you left and right. But one thing about it, we already know that two parts therein shall be cut off and die. They're going to be walking like blind men. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be crying and weeping, travailing like a woman with child. And one thing about it, hey, man, we told you so. We're going to we're gonna what? laugh at your calamity. You know what I'm saying? The prophets. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. Verse uh, 18, it is said, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able uh, to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make 
even a speedy witness of all them that dwell in the land. So one thing about it is that, you know, this great economic collapse, your silver or nor your gold shall not deliver you in the time of the Lord's wrath. You know, it's coming fast approaching that great economic collapse. The dollar will be obsolete. The end of the dollar is the end of America. And, all, and also the fire of his jealousy is the indignation of Yahweh. Bible Shemim Yahweh. That what? That divine fire that's going to melt all the elements. Those what IBC and miss. You know what I'm saying? Man, the, the in, intercontinental ballistic missile. They get ready to be shot throughout the ends of the world and they shall not miss their mark through the spirit of power of Yahweh. Bible Shemim Yahweh. DTA, a bob, a ball. Down with Babylon the Great. We're ready for this nightmare to be over so we can get back in our first estate. We are ready to rule. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, it is payday. The Lord said, I will repay. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. The Lord is tearing this place down brick by brick. So now let's go here to Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 4. Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 15. Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 16. Salaki. And he said, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight and with care, and they shall drink water by measure and with astonishment, or uh, uh, what a surprise. Uh, verse uh, 17, that they may want bread and water and be astonished uh, one with, uh, with another, and they consume away for their iniquity. So what they about is people gonna be looking at one another shot to death. They're gonna be bugged out of their mind. They're gonna be looking like Joe Sasha here. What is going on? Why is all this happening? Jesus! Jesus will not help you in that time of trouble. If you do not know the true names of the Heavenly Father, you will be totally destroyed. The great king that sits on the throne, he he is and he exists, is Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Our Lord and Savior and our great deliverer is Yahweh Shah Hamas. Yeah, he 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 delivers, he saves. He's getting ready to return. We constantly warning you, left and right. Our salvation is at the door. So it's gonna be a great famine in land, pestilent, a great economic collapse is coming for you. You know, so it's gonna be food. Rash, you know, food short starvation is coming back in a big way. So now let's go here to uh, let's go here to Revelation chapter six, and we'll get one more and we will close out. Let's see, go here, Revelation chapter six, Revelation chapter six. We'll start up at verse four, Revelation chapter six, and verse four. It said, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him, uh, that set their own to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and and there was given unto him a great sword. So this red horse is 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 is, is, is a de, uh, it's describing the modern day so called white man. The, you know what I'm saying? Which in fact is a red man. The Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. Also, when you go to Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12, you know it's the devil's getting ready to come down with great wrath because what he know that his time is very short. So he's getting ready to try to perform his what his plan, his plot, his agenda. What is that? Total control, order out of chaos. You don't want this one digital society. You know where you know he want to be. Uh, 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 he want to be like the Most High, but he's in for a rude awakening. Also, that great sword is going into his what technology, you know, his AI, his robotics, all sorts of weaponry. You know, these lying wonders. Also, that what that grain of rice. And one thing about it, we already know that the enemy is getting ready to strike, but the Lord is getting ready to strike right back. We cannot wait. The Lord is getting ready to do a mighty work with great glory and great power. Verse five, it says, uh, and when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see and behold a and lo a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances, balances in his hand. So this this is right here is represent a what? A great economic collapse, also what famine and pestilence in the land. You know, hey man, it is coming. The Bible is spot on. Hey, out of you we hear or out of you will for bear. Verse six it said, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And out about that oil and the wine is talking about the elect. So the elect will be, uh, will be sustained and the Lord will provide for them. You know, the Lord never changed. He's, 
He's uh he 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 was the same in Moses' time. You know when they, when he delivered Moses out of the hand of uh of Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? And, and one thing about it, you know, the Lord he never changed. You know, the Lord is getting ready to show up. You know, the Lord's getting ready to you show us things, you know, beyond our comprehension. You know, that supernatural intervention is getting ready to come into play. So it's gonna be a great famine in land, food short. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be rationed out. You know, a lot of people are gonna be fighting over uh, a couple of uh pieces of bread. Uh, you know, just for example, you know, it's gonna be chaotic. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so you got to get prepared. And the only way you will get prepared if the Lord is dealing with you, if you're part of the elect, the house of David, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, the Lord said he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. So the Lord will provide for us. The Lord will uh, sustain us in these times of trouble. That is fast approach. And one thing about it, we're going to trust and believe. And Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So the Lord is coming back for the elect. So now let's go back to our last and final script. If you're not a part of that number, you're going to uh, be destroyed. Uh, you will have to fill the file. Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's go to our last and final script. Jeremiah chapter 30. We'll close out here. Jeremiah chapter 30. We'll start up at verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 6. It says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doeth travail with, with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his lawns as a woman in travail and all faces are turned in pelvis. Yeah, hey, what's gonna call that? A major event, a global event. Now, our temptation, what Jacob's trouble, it is at the door. Verse seven, it said, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who shall be saved out? The elect, the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So the Lord is only coming back for that one third remnant. You know what I'm saying? The one that stayed loyal to him. The one that was with him from the beginning. Genesis uh, 1 and 1. You know what I'm saying? The one that, 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 that was uh, preordained. So the Lord is coming back. And he's getting ready to do a mighty work. The Lord is getting ready to establish the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. So we see that this heaven and this earth are Earth age is passing away. We're seeing it right before our eyes. So Esau is the end of this earth age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. The end of this what E the end of, end of this age. So you know, when you go into that word heaven, it also goes into a rulership. So this this hey man, this empire is ending. You know what I'm saying? The revived Roman Empire. You know, all this lies and deception. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready to come back and clean this place up in one hour. Thy judgment come. The Lord's getting ready to do a mighty work. So we're saying that these events are constantly what on the uh, uptick. A lot of people still are not considering, still, you know, still uh, thinking that this is not going to happen. That is not going to happen. The Bible is the true book. And one thing about it is that, you know, if the Lord is not dealing with you, you're getting ready to die. We're constantly warning you left and right. But you don't want to hear the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Not just yet, but when Jacob's trouble start, you know, when it starts. You get ready to get your mind right. You get ready to grab your ankles. You're going to be traveling like a woman with child. You're going to be like a blind man. A lot of people going to give up the goat. And also a lot of people going to what? Trust in the strength of Egypt. And you will be totally strong. If you take it under the skin, that grain of rice, you're going to have to suffer that second death. The Lord said, do not take it. Trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, your true power. So the title of the day lesson. Once again, I'm talking about the what? The Negroes, the Latinos. The native any your true power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Dash. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is major events. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Dash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.